Wait a minute, you're telling me low income and bad credit is stopping you from being a first time home buyer? Well, in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how you can be a first time home buyer with low income and bad credit and the five programs you can use to get approved today. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on? It's Emmanuel Lunt with Ready for the Lifestyle. If this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below where I provide tips and tricks for your everyday entrepreneur in order to grow and scale their business structurally and financially. And if this is not your first time, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can hear all the latest, greatest tips and tricks that I put out on YouTube. Before I go into this topic, I just want to give you a disclaimer about these programs. These mortgage programs for first time home buyers, home buyers in general, is for low to moderate income families. Also, you want to stay to the end of this video because I'm going to tell you about a first time home buyer program that only requires a hundred dollar down payment on your first time home. I said a hundred dollar down payment. So you want to stay to the end of the video so you get all this good information and I will give you this information as a bonus. All right. So stay tuned. Well, another thing about these programs, if you are a first time home buyer, um, it doesn't require you to go to a first time home buyer educational course. You know, it's mixed with financial um, education as well. And another thing too is it does require you if you want to be into this program that you have to live in the in the house. It can't be vacant and it should not be used for you know making rental income. And that's a whole nother ball game in itself. And trust me, people do it, but I'm not advising you to do it. It's been done. Yes, it's been done before. It could be done. If you're investing, yes, it could be done, but I'm not advising you to do it. If you don't meet any of these qualifications, don't worry, it's okay. If you do have all right credit and you're looking to know what type of credit score you need in order to buy your first time home, I'm going to put a video right here for you guys to check out to see exactly what type of credit score you need in order to purchase your first time home. These home loans offer more than one benefit such as down payment assistance, grants, gifts as well, also low down payment requirements, count on mortgage payments, below market rates payment. So buying a home with low income and bad credit is something that a lot of Americans go through and trust me it's not easy but it could be done when I say several different obstacles that could be paying rent and also saving up for your first time home not only that paying your bills on time your current bills such as your water gas light bills phone bills on time as you're saving up for your first time home and I haven't even talked about searching for a good home you know, in the right areas, especially for low income individuals. You have to write, work with the right realtor. So shout out to my brother Carlton Lunk. He is a realtor in Jacksonville and he can also help you in other states as well. Uh, just leave a comment below saying home or something in regards to that. And I will definitely forward him telling top five, top five realtor right there, right? So um, I haven't even mentioned DTI debt to income ratio, which plays a humongous point in getting your loan approved. So you definitely have to watch your DTI, but luckily for you, I have a solution for you guys. There are government mandated programs for low income individuals that you may qualify for. So let's get into my top five mandated programs that you may qualify for at least one of them. First program is offered by Freddie Mae and Fannie Mac called Home Ready and Home Possible Advantage. So one of the key features of this program is the down payment requirements. You only need 3% of the purchase price of the house. And what makes it so, so reasonable is that you can use a gift to actually pay for this. So it can come from a family member or friend. They can write you a letter stating why they're giving you this money in order for you to purchase this home. It can also come from a government grant as well. And it can also come from a loan, but it has to be a qualifiable source in order for you to use it in the down payment. So another key feature of this program that makes it extremely attractive is that it comes with a deeply discounted insurance premium. You might ask, why is it that they're giving you such a good pricing on insurance, which, you know, insurance usually costs the arm and a leg on a regular market, for instance. If you had a MyFICO score of 720 and you were to go onto a regular market to purchase a home, your insurance percent premium would be 0.95. But with this program, your insurance premium for the year would range from 0.77 all the way down to 0.65. 
and to put the icing on the cake for you, let's just say you didn't have the money to pay for your down payment, you can actually, instead of negotiating for a lower price, you can have the person who's selling you the house pay for the down payment, the 3% that's asked for and required in order to get this program going. A lot of us that's probably watching this video probably has bad credit, so guess what? I have a book on Amazon, but better yet, what I wanna do is provide you a free copy. Just leave a comment below and stating uh, credit repair help um, in the comment below. And what I'll do is send you a digital copy, which you'll be able to see exactly what I've done in order to get my credit up to par for any type of purchases as well. And um, I think you'll be able to use this because of the tips and tricks that it provides. Now we're at program number two. It's called the USDA Mortgages. It's for rural housing. So if you're in city limits and you're looking to move out, I know COVID was a very, very big thing. A lot of people are trying to move out from, you know, humongous cities, you know, out of the big crowd. This would be a great program for you if you have low income and you have bad credit. This program was actually developed to help low to moderate income families move to rural areas. So if you're a little bit hesitant about moving to a rural area because you live in a big city, I would suggest that you look into this program. If you look at statistics, at least 40% of America's population lives in rural areas. So one of the best features I've seen about this program is actually two, is that you have to have no money down and it's 100% financing in order to get approved for these loans. Let me give you a breakdown. There are two types of USDA loans within this program. One is the guaranteed loan, which can't exceed 115 of the AMI of that area. So the second program is called the direct program and it's for individuals that meet the criteria that has income in between 50 and 80% of the AMI. So if you don't know what AMI means, AMI means area medium income. So hopefully you're getting a lot out of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done that already and comment below. Let me know what type of housing challenges are you going through at this time. And the third program, which is not for everyone, is called VA Home Loans. This program is specifically made and developed for military home buyers. One of the key points of this program is that there are no credit score minimums, but just as a disclosure, to keep in mind that any lender can add their minimums if they wanted to. So definitely ask before applying. So the third reason that makes the VA Home Loans very attractive for military personnel is that there is no mortgage insurance meaning that the mortgage insurance that would normally be separate as um, a premium or a payment inside a home loan would be enrolled into the total loan. Last and final reason why the VA loans are so attractive to military personnel is that VA mortgages offer the sellers to pay up to 4% of the entire purchase and closing costs, which could save the first time home buyer with low income and bad credit thousands of dollars at closing. Don't forget, if you're liking this information, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also comment below. Let me know what programs you actually used in the past. And if not, you haven't used any uh, programs in the past, what programs are you looking to use in the future from this video? Stay with me, folks. We're at the fourth program and it's called the Good Neighbor Next Door. This program is offered by HUD and they have so many different programs out there. This is one of them that I've never seen, but the HUD program called the good neighbor is a program that they allow you to purchase a HUD home that's foreclosed on at a 50% discount and the best part about it yep there's more that you can purchase this house with only a hundred dollars down I said a hundred dollars down like I said HUD has tons of programs out there but the one that I really like is the NACA program if you want to see me do that video please comment below NACA in the comment section so I can go ahead and make that video for you guys and you can hear all about that program where you need zero down and also the credit score obviously does not matter. I know you guys are probably excited about that. $100, I have my $100 right now. What am I gonna do? How can I do this? Well, what I'm gonna do is put a link in the description below to the HUD's website where you can find your next dream home. But just FYI, you do need to have a licensed realtor to work with you on this in order to put a purchase in. So I did tell you guys about my brother. I'm gonna mention him again, Carlton Lunk, licensed realtor. 
if you um, want to find out a little bit more about him, I'll leave a link in the description. Also, comment below. I'll send your information to him as soon as possible, and he'll probably get in contact with you within 24 to 72 hours in regards to your new purchase. So another key component about this program, it's like a lottery. You know, you, you need the real estate agent in order to put your offer in. But once you put your offer in and it is accepted, you get financed. Good to be true. $100 down payment. I get a 50% discount on a home as well. And it's like the lottery. What's the catch? Well, this 50% discount is actually a second mortgage. Now you're like, hold up, wait, a second mortgage? If you need to understand just a little bit more detail about this second mortgage, the second mortgage that this 50% uh, discount is applied to is actually no payments and no interest as long as you abide by one rule. That rule is that you have to stay in the house for about three years and they would actually disregard the whole entire loan. So it's imperative that you know this. If you do go ahead and get this HUD a program that you need to stay in the house for at least three years in order for them to dismember that loan. Got it? Good. Hopefully you like that tip right there. Give me a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know if you ever heard of that program before. Okay guys, we're at the end and we're at the fifth program, which is called the Manufactured Mobile Homes. So you're probably like, wait, a mobile home? I'm gonna move from an apartment to a mobile home? Well, one thing I have to tell you is that manufactured mobile homes are one of the most affordable homes that they can have on the market. And the idea that you probably have of the homes from the past is not the same in the future. The designs, the build is totally different. Even the layout could be totally different. So definitely don't put this past your radar. So one of the reasons why it may be feasible for some is because mobile homes or manufactured homes are not real estate and you're like man that doesn't provide any value it doesn't add to my portfolio if i'm you know trying to be an investor no you know the main point is having a home and not only that you wouldn't have to get a regular bank loan because these mobile homes or manufactured homes could be purchased with a personal loan so if you're afraid of mortgages that's probably a good pick for you. But there's one reason why I may not agree with, and you may also take up this, and that's because there is a higher down payment that you need to make, and it's usually between three to 5% of the purchase. And this is because this is not real estate. Obviously, with this not being real estate, um, the up on the upside is that you have no mortgage to pay for the rest of your life. So, um, you know, there's a win and lose in this situation. So that's all I have on this topic. Please leave a comment below. Let me know if you use any of these programs or if there's any other programs that first time home buyers could use in order to buy their first home. Also like this video and share it with someone who may need this information. All right. Thanks again. See you soon.